New at five, the UW-Milwaukee men's basketball team could set a dubious record tonight. Now, a win gives them the Horizon League championship and a trip to the NCAA tournament. They would then set a record for most losses by a team getting into the big dance. They were a woeful 8-23 and in the regular season, <laughs> lost their last nine games in a row before winning their first three games of the Horizon League tournament. It's all about timing yes, in it life. Is. <laughs> ben Jordan is live on the UWM campus with more. Ben. George and Carol, I am live at the Gas House at UWM where a large watch party is about to get underway. Earlier today, I caught up with students on campus who tell me they wouldn't mind potentially setting this infamous record as long as they get to be a part of the hype that is March Madness. The student buses are loaded en route to Motor City and the UWM campus is buzzing. My basketball shirt. <laughs> Panther pride is on display for the most unexpected reason. I thought we were going to be one and done. It's a lot of shock. It's kind of like, wow, we actually did it. After a rough regular season, earning the UWM Panther basketball team the last place seed in the Horizon League Conference Tournament. It's from so low throughout the season to make it so like high. The unthinkable happened. Something started to click on the court just at the right time. Three wins in a row for the underdogs lands the Panthers in the conference championship game. You always gotta believe, I guess. Even UWM head basketball coach Laval Jordan admits this could be the beginning of the biggest March Madness Cinderella story. It probably is definitely that. You know, we're, 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 we still are what, 11 and 23. With a trip to the NCAA tournament on the line. You never know what's going to happen tonight. Fans hope their team keeps the momentum against Northern Kentucky. I'm dedicated to the school, so I always believe you know, that they can come off the hole, you know? Hopefully a victory, because, I mean, that means only six more wins till they're NCAA champs. If that happens, you heard it from Evan first. Now, back here at the Gas House, managers are expecting 250 fans to pack this place. Tip-off is at six. Reporting live from UWM, Ben Jordan. Today's TMJ4. Now, I know you Jordans have to stick together. Thanks, Ben. <laughs> what if they could actually Always. upset them? That would be fun.